Hey guys, this is Osiris again, and uh, I have a, another streaming to streaming application for Linux that you may find easier to use than the previous two methods. Uh, a lot is changing in Linux and in the Linux, Linux ecosphere. So as soon as I find out about these these applications, I'm gonna try to get them to you, and hopefully this makes makes streaming uh, live streaming much easier for you, especially for you gamers, uh, which is pretty much who I'm talking to so if you go to your web browser and go to screenstudio.chromes.com uh, this is the website for an application called screen studio uh, and it says broadcasting made easy and quite honestly I haven't found another application that's easier to use than this and let me say thanks to Ubu the tech guru for uh, pointing me in this direction uh, I'll leave a link to his channel, who's a awesome uh, live streamer, down in the description. So anyhow, you have version 1.01, .01, which is the latest version as of today, and you're just going to want to go ahead and download that. Once you have it downloaded, you can go to your uh, file browser. Well, actually, before you do that, you're going to want to go to right click it where you download it, go to properties, go to permissions and make sure that this is checked down here where it says execute uh, so that you, it allows you to execute it. And if you don't have Java installed on your Ubuntu system, you're going to want to install that also. So open up your software center and go to open and type in open JDK and download and install Java 7 runtime. Open JDK Java 7 runtime. That's what I'm using and it works fine for me. So download, install that. Once that's installed, you can close that. And then uh, you should be able to right click it. And, uh, should be the option up here at the top that says open with JDK Java 7 runtime. Click that and it'll open for you. So once you got that opened, you can check it out. So it, it it allows you to record to record your desktop locally. You know, you just record stuff like I'm doing here. It allow you to stream to Twitch. He has the presets for Twitch, UStream, and YouTube uh, for live streaming to YouTube. And he has also already built in the list of servers for for them, which is awesome. Uh, since I'm closest to, to Dallas, Texas, I just I use the Dallas, Texas server. That way, I'll get a lower latency. Um, then he has profiles for your resolution and your bitrate. So for say 1080p resolution, he has the bitrate set to 3000. Now, if you can't hit that bitrate for some reason, you're going to have to go into the configuration file and, and change that. Yeah. But he has that explained on his YouTube channel, which I'll leave, I'll leave the link to that in the description also. Uh, you put in your stream key here. Don't worry, I'll change my stream key later just in case anybody wants to tell me I showed my stream key. But uh, yeah, you put your stream key here and then you put your message here. Uh, it's that simple. Then you hit this this button here and it'll start streaming. It's, that, it's really that easy. On top of that though, he has some really nice features that I haven't seen anywhere else in, in, in any type of streaming lab application that's on Linux. And that's overlays, uh, which is a huge huge bonus for you guys who want to have some type of overlay on your uh, on your streaming so not only that he also has webcams also built in so you, you can put the position of your webcam here the position of the overlay right here here's where you would type that message uh, mine says testing screen studio and the title is Osiris Tech Gaming so the the title will be in bigger font and then in slightly smaller font beneath it is the subtitle and then the overlay image will be the logo. Uh, he has some built-in logos here, but I use my own personal one that I have I've made in GIMP. So, uh, then on the sources, the, since I have multiple monitors, you can choose your monitor here and the frame rate. 30 uh, is a good frame rate. Here's where you choose your webcam and then the uh, resolution of your webcam. And then here's where you choose your audio as you can see, I have lots of audio devices, but uh, this is the built-in audio. So whatever is playing out of your computer will be streamed. So 
let me give you a demonstration of what it looks like. I have uh, I tested it out earlier, so I'm just gonna go to my Twitch channel and show that to you. So, uh, forgot about the commercial breaks. Well, while the commercial breaks are playing, uh, let me tell you also I am also working on a video on how to live stream with your in-game audio and your your microphone. Uh, I had to sort out some details because I haven't done it in a while and I pretty much forgot. So I'm, I'm going to have that for you guys here really soon. Hopefully today, maybe the next couple of days. And uh, oh, okay, here we go. So this is what it looks like. As you can see in the bottom corner is my, my personalized logo. And then where I typed in the title, you can see the title was Osiris Tech Gaming. And then the subtitle was Testing Screen Studio. Uh, it's that simple it, it just does it everything for you and it's laid out pretty nicely uh, the bottom right hand corner was my webcam I didn't have any light in the room I was just testing it out and everything works fine uh, let's see we got some audio actually let me skip forward here we're here's a game as you can see the the sound works and everything works I already tested it out with my microphone the microphone works uh, it works. It works awesome. It's, it's a great piece of software. He's continually developing it, and he's uh, open to feedback uh, from what I've seen. So, I really highly recommend that you guys go check out Screen Studio, and it's that once again that URL, uh, the link to it is ScreenStudio.Chrome.com. I'll put that in the, the description also, and make sure you guys leave uh leave some feedback uh if they have donate buttons please donate to some of these guys these guys are doing excellent excellent work on on the linux platform and these are not their jobs they're not getting paid for these and for the mo for what mo most of them are not uh these are independent developers and they're just doing a service to the linux community uh so I gotta give a round of applause for the people who made Screen Studio, Simple Screen Recorder, and the guys who are working on uh, Open Broadcasting Software Studio, OBS Studio. All all these all these these um, projects are great, great projects, and have been brought to us out of, out of the out of the kindness and the love for open source software. So make sure you go follow the guy down here at Twitter at uh, at Patrick Balu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hopefully, I'm not messing up his name. Uh, he has a G plus down here at the bottom and his YouTube channel. Uh, I'll leave all those links. So, once again, this was a uh, another streaming software called Screen Studio. Hopefully, you found this video uh, helpful to you. If so, hit a, uh, hit the like button and uh, please subscribe for more videos uh, on Linux and gaming. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.